To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here is a better look at the SIM tray. Next, we'll need to use a hair dryer or a heat gun to apply heat to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. There are 18 Phillips screws which need to be removed. The top cover can be lifted up and removed. The camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. There's an antenna line drawn on this cover which is this light gray color line. And there's some graphite film to help transfer heat. Here's a look at the other side. At this point the battery cable can be disconnected from the main board. Once that's disconnected we can proceed to disconnect the rest of the cables. There are two coaxial cables on the top right side of the board that need to be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding on the main board that needs to be removed. Now the main board can be lifted up and removed. Looking at the main board, there's a primary 64 megapixel camera, a 2 megapixel vocal lens, and an AI lens. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. None of the cameras have OIS or optical image stabilization. There's a liquid damage indicator sticker, which is the white sticker on the bottom corner, a secondary microphone located on top, some more copper tape on the front shields to help transfer heat, and there are rubber gaskets around the connectors. And before I forget, the quad LED flash is located here. The SIM and memory card reader is located on the back, as well as the 16 megapixel front facing camera. There's a proximity sensor on the top, and copper tape as well as some thermal paste on the back shields. Once that copper tape is peeled back, we can see more thermal paste on the RAM and processor, as well as these chips. The speaker assembly can be lifted up and removed. There's some more graphite film to help transfer heat. And here's a better look at the speaker itself. There's also a small antenna board on the side of the speaker. There's an adhesive pull tab on the bottom corner of the battery to help you pry the battery off. That pull tab was pretty useless, it didn't help at all and just tore. So at this point we're going to have to use some isopropyl alcohol and apply some to the edges of the battery and let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute so it eats away at the adhesive underneath making it easier to pry it off. Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. Now that the battery has been removed, we can see this flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard, and this flex cable for the screen which is routed through an opening in the midframe. So if you needed to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, the screws on the top cover, disconnect and pry off the battery, at which point it would give you access to the screen cable, and then you'd heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry your old screen off, apply new adhesive and reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back through the opening in the midframe, and reassemble the phone. So moving on to the subboard, we have to disconnect the flex cable connecting the main board to the subboard, as well as the two other ends of the coaxial cable. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the subboard that needs to be removed. Now the subboard can be lifted up and removed. There are rubber gaskets around the charger port, headphone jack, and the connector. There's another liquid damage indicator sticker which is the white sticker and the primary microphone is located right here on the bottom. Here's a look at the other side. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner and it's held down with some adhesive. This is the flex cable for the fingerprint reader and the flex cable for the volume keys is located here. If you need to replace either of those, there's a plastic bracket in the frame. You'd have to pull that bracket out of the frame and gently peel off the flex cable and pull out the cables to remove them. And finally, the earpiece speaker is located on top and that's also held down with some adhesive. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, 
and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.